difference is where the torque is distributed and also how the weight is distributed. So gear hub motor, you have the torque down the wheel directly. The, gear, the mid drive, the uh, torque goes through the chain and the gears. So, what are the maintenance of these bikes, like the gear hub motor versus the mid-drive motor? How would the maintenance be different between them? So, they're bicycle, so it's pretty much the same maintenance as bicycle. The big difference is you have a battery, when you get home, you plug it in and charge it up. Great. So, from some of the research I've done, I think that mid-drives are generally more expensive. What would be the reasons for that? Yes, the mid-drive is a little bit more expensive than the hub motor, so that is the big differentiator. Uh, all the other components are uh, equal, they're pretty much the same. So what are some of the different riding styles of these bikes and how could a rider maximize their range? Yeah, so well, so like any, any other vehicle, um, try to keep your acceleration to as low as it as you can and also um, coast to the uh, red light instead of racing to the red light if you pedal you get that much more range so do you have a preference between these two or generally do you find either one works for you to ride they're both amazing anybody that tries them for the first time has a smile i agree i'm quite an avid cyclist and personally i do prefer the feel of the mid-drive motor. I feel like it's a bit more like riding a regular bicycle. Um, and it's definitely super enjoyable as well, drive the gear hub, but it definitely feels a bit more, at least to me, a little motorized. But they all have different functions that are great for different individuals. So of course, it's up to you to decide what is better for you, and depending on the situation that you're gonna be using it in. Yes, so one of the reasons I think that the mid-drive feels a little bit more like a regular bike is, uh, the weight distribution is centered down uh, the, uh, the center line of the bike. The hub motor is, the weight is distributed a little bit more towards the rear. So if you're a person that rides with a lot of stuff on your rack, you might not notice the rear, uh, the weight on the rear, but if you're uh, usually riding like the bike with just you on the bike, you might feel more natural on a mid-drive. They're amazing. You're going to increase your uh, uh, commute. You're going to cut down on your commute distance. You're going to increase your average speed. You're going to get there faster and you'll want to leave your car at home. <laughs> <laughs>